Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to 25 cocktails to Christmas and the last day. Yes, we came to the point when this series is gonna be over until the next year of course. So, today I have something really very special, so let's see what is on the list. Hey guys, I hope you're ready, I hope you're prepared for your Christmas, I hope you're celebrating already and I hope you get some good presents, yeah? I hope you find what you wish for and most of all, I hope all of you are safe, healthy and with your loved ones around you on this important day. So it's been 25 days and today we're gonna take it a little bit slowly nourishing so if you want to go straight away jump to the recipe check the description of the video it's gonna have a timetable when the cocktail start but today it's something which I wanted to present for a long time and I think it's fantastic opportunity to close this series with this cocktail and this is the original San Francisco Pisco Punch okay it's been a a wonderful cocktail which has been banned for over a hundred years and finally it's back because of this guy's Vin Mariani who managed to bring back this wonderful wine infused with coca leaves coca du Peru but this time it's everything regulated and not like it was back in the days when it was banned so I'm gonna get my uh, assistant I'm so sorry but I'm gonna tell you just a very quick story if you never heard of it I'm pretty sure you can google it and you can read because there's a massive articles about it and lots of history so I'm just gonna go through very quickly so Vin Mariani was known as one of the most popular poisons of choice during the parting years between 1870 and 1914. So it was fashionable drink. Uh, it's a Bordeaux red wine infused with uh, coca leaves. Okay. So it was invented in uh, 1860 and it's been drink by names like Alexander Dumas, Queen Victoria, multiply pops and so many other celebrities basically it's been drink by anyone who was anyone at this time okay so eventually the good times came to the end because it was discovered that uh, cocaine in the coca leaves obviously it's not very healthy so the substance it was made in Lego and this is when it came the end of the Vin Mariani at this time. Now, these glasses have such a cool crazy echo. Seriously, I think I have poltergeist in the bar. Now, uh, basically what it is, uh, it's a Peruvian coca leaf which it's uh, added to the Bordeaux and it make this exceptional test of this wine and uh, also it's known as probably one of the big inspiration of the cre to create the coca-cola yeah so this wine have something to play with the creation of the coca-cola i don't know what exactly but as i mentioned the story it's a it's a long if if i have to read everything and go through it we better make a movie about Vin Mariani and about the history and about the importance of this uh, secret ingredients in the Pisco Punch, as people call it back in the days. And uh, last year, uh, it was last year or a little bit longer than that, maybe, uh, yeah, just beginning, I think, of the last year, they come back this time with the proper regulated wine. Of course, it's again, uh, have this uh, Peruvian coca leaves but this time they are decoconized Peruvian leaves okay 
So we still have this uh, uh, flavor and aromas, but we don't have any more this substance, which we all know it's illegal. And my recipe, which I create when Vin Mariani uh, contact me, I didn't create it, obviously. I did a long research and uh, I tried to make as close as possible to the original Pisco Punch and the original San Francisco Pisco Punch, like they knew it, because that's why this came very popular. And today I'm gonna present it to you. When I do the recipe, usually I create around uh, 400 milliliter of the punch, so I can share and I uh, have a few glasses because it's a very potent drink and uh, it's usually served in a small nick and not a glass or in a cup and you drink it slowly because it's strong. Uh, but today I kind of amend the recipe so I can create just one glass and this is by the way my second bottle of Vin Mariani. So I'm gonna open it in front of you. It's a wonderful Bordeaux wine, it's just unbelievable. Yes, if you can find it, I strongly recommend to try it, okay? So guys, day 25, we're closing the Christmas series. I'll be back with the normal videos and I have so much on my list to share with you, but let's make now the famous San Francisco Pisco Punch, okay? All you need, we're gonna shake it and we're gonna start with our Pisco. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna make a recipe just for one serve, but still strong, so be careful. Now, from the Pisco, you need 60 ml. Here we go. And exactly the same amount you're gonna use from the Vin Mariani Bordeaux wine. So 60 ml, it's a very dark, rich color. It's have a wonderful aromas, wonderful taste. So we are done with our spirits. Then we need 15 ml of fresh squeezed lime juice. Just 15 ml will be more than enough. So then we go with the next ingredient and this is a pineapple gum arabic syrup. You need 25 ml. Now if you want to make uh, this syrup at home, uh, I may do a video about how to make it. Or if you're really interested how to make it, comment on the bottom and I will send you a link where you can see the recipe and you can try making it at home, okay? And finally guys, chilled water. Yes, we're gonna shake, we're gonna dilute the cocktail, but still, as I mentioned, it's a strong drink. So imagine you have 60 ml of Pisco, which is 41, 42 ABV, and then you have the wine. The wine is not that strong, but still this wine is not like normal wine. It's 22%, okay, 22 ABV. So 50 ml of chilled water. Now this water has been staying in my uh, fridge all day long. It's freezing cold. And even I'm gonna shake, as I mentioned, and I'm gonna dilute the cocktail, you need to introduce some extra dilution. Now we're gonna drop ice. Oh. And we're gonna give it a good shake, okay? Lovely. This is one of those iconic cocktail which you should try once in your life if you can. I mean, if, if you can make it at home, fantastic. If not, maybe when things get better and we start going out to bars again, maybe see if your favorite bar or where you're visiting, just ask them if they can make it because I know some of these ingredients, it's a little bit overwhelming because, uh, you know, to buy them, so it's, it's not necessary to do it. But I really wanted to share this cocktail with you because I really love it. And it's a lot of beautiful history behind this cocktail. So I strongly suggest uh, to find out a little bit more about it and have a read, yeah? Now I'm gonna serve this in a, because it's a, a retro, 
I will choose... Which one should I choose? Right, I will choose not with the gold. I will choose the engraved retro cup, which I have. This is like uh, from the 60s retro cup. I mean, it's made present days, but it's inspired by design. Like a uh, old design, so that's what I'm gonna use. And double strain. You're gonna get this lovely, beautiful... Look at that, this is pretty much full, it's gonna leave a little bit, but as I mentioned, I'm trying to adapt the recipe for just the one surf. Uh, if I do bigger surf, I may increase the wine, but still, it's it's fantastic dark red ruby. And then, for garnish, use an orange zest, you can drop in the orange zest, or you can just put it on the rim of the glass. And this is it, guys, the famous... San Francisco Pisco Punch. Cheers! Mm. This is uh, one of the most beautiful cocktails. Absolutely. It is strong, but you don't feel any of this. It's so mild, so soft. Because the pineapple gum arabic syrup is bringing this lovely tropical feeling and sweetness pairing fantastic with the bordeaux wine and obviously the pisco is just washed out from the lemon and from the pineapple and it's just bond fantastic with all the ingredients and don't forget the chilled water this play a big part in this cocktail because it's make it a little bit more diluted and more pleasant to drink the aromas and Oh, it's just, it's just wonderful, guys. It's, uh, it's just smells pineapple, orange, and the what? It's, I, I, just, I don't know. I do love this cocktail so much. Do me a favor. If you can find the ingredients, make it at home. You love it. If you like pisco, definitely. If not, maybe one day consider to try it in a bar which you visit but <clears throat> for now sadly is the last day of the christmas cocktails and this is not the end it's just wonderful beginning and here i want to say thank you very much to everyone who watch the series who share who comment all new subscribers we have uh, i have now I think over 260 new subscribers, which is absolutely unbelievable. Thank you very much, guys, for watching the channel. Thank you very much for supporting. Uh, I know it's a young channel and we have so much to achieve, but it's just the beginning and I'm here to stay. So if you're with me, thank you. And if you're new and you're still watching now, consider to subscribe. It will mean the world to me. And again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, if I don't see you before that, but I may do with some New, new Year cocktails, I don't know yet, but I may do. And stay safe guys, much love, uh, keep healthy, and I'll see you in a few days probably with a regular video, we'll see what is gonna drop. Until then, as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.